Maxon is thrilled to announce a massive collection of new features that will inspire you to create like never before. The latest Maxon One release makes it easy for you to create beautiful, intricate particle effects in Cinema 4D, render non-photorealistic line and tune looks in Redshift, texture, light, and clone 3D objects in After Effects with Red Giant Geo, and enhance your productivity with new Maxon capsules. With Cinema 4D's new unified particles, you can create sophisticated particle effects, emitting particles from shapes, other objects, and even other particles. And you can control them using user-friendly defined rules and falloffs. Use modifiers like turn, look, and flocking to create motion graphics. Or use surface attract to visualize everything from car wind tunnels to spreading infections. These new particles are part of Cinema 4D's unified simulation system, which interacts seamlessly with pyro and can utilize pyro forces while also interacting with rigid bodies, soft bodies, and cloth. And like the other unified simulation features, these particles play back remarkably fast using the power of your GPU. We've included a collection of incredible particle presets in Cinema 4D's asset browser and created a free training course on Cineversity to help you start exploring the possibilities. New unified simulation features also make it easy to generate dynamic connections between rigid bodies, connect individual objects or clone systems with hinges, sliders, and ragdoll joints. Rigid bodies also support aerodynamics for more realistic simulations, and all simulations can now be cached to external files. This April release also makes your workflow easier than ever with improvements to C4D's exchange formats, asset browser, and capsules. For emerging formats like GLTF and USD, we've added support for animation. We've also made improvements to GoZ, including support for both dynamic subdivisions and matcap materials, making it even easier to bring sculpted creations from ZBrush into Cinema 4D. There are new capsules available to Maxon One users every month, including a ton of Redshift materials, plants, office supplies, and packaging. We're constantly making these assets easier to find with improvements to the asset browser. And we're adding handy tricks like automatically creating a dome light when you drag an HDRI into a scene. And if you haven't heard yet, Adobe Substance 3D materials can now be browsed easily in C4D's asset browser and added as ready to render Redshift materials. You can even adjust substance source parameters in Redshift. With scene nodes, you can create wondrous scenes with parametric controls, create growth, complex webs, particle emitters, and branching trees. And now you can use the partition modifier to quickly create flooring variations or generate cities. Explore all these scene nodes and more in the asset browser. Redshift's new NPR rendering lets you add a classic cartoon feel to an animation and create fine line drafts to show off new products. New shading nodes draw lines around contours and make it easy to get cell shaded and other stylized looks on the tune shader and half tone shading with the tone map pattern shader. And through opacity options in the tune shader, you can now achieve additive emission for particle setups. Turn up the volume by rendering clouds and smoke with greater realism and artistic control thanks to the new Redshift standard volume shader, which includes new controls to displace volumes with noise and the option to render with the new, more accurate anisotropy mode. Lights, which are essential for each and every rendered image, have been treated to a handful of impressive upgrades. Area lights can now be masked with the opacity texture option or adjusted with the opacity slider. And mesh lights have been overhauled to behave like standard area lights with visibility options and AOVs. With our partners at Adobe, Substance Materials are now a breeze to import and render in Redshift. Just import a Substance Archive material through the C4D Substance Material node, and the channels are linked for you automatically. And in case you haven't heard, we added a jitter shader to quickly add variety across many objects in a scene. And now you can add a matcap shader for non-photoreal looks. As you can see, we're working to make Redshift faster and more interactive, and a key piece of that effort is parallel rendering, which uses your CPU to render Redshift material previews it keeps the GPU free to crank out IPR previews and final frames. If you're using an M3 Mac with Metal, you will see even more of a performance boost with added support for hardware accelerated ray tracing. Now, let's talk Red Giant. We're excited to introduce Geo, an approachable yet powerful way to add 3D objects to After Effects, with support for seven popular file formats, including C4D, OBJ, and FBX. Use integrated cloner options to create quick and easy arrays in box, sphere, or cylinder shapes. Access and edit multiple materials for a single 3D object using familiar attributes from Redshift, such as roughness and emission. Those properties can be controlled with imported maps, other layers, or comps from After Effects. Use a shadow catcher for compositing 3D objects into 2D footage quickly. 
You can also use a layer or a comp as a refraction map to create photorealistic refractions that render incredibly fast. Cineware is our bridge between Cinema 4D and other applications. This release also includes performance updates for Direct Link and Unreal, as well as Cineware and After Effects. And we've added several great features to Cineware, like including the Cinema 4D Asset Browser to give you access to that massive library of 3D objects right from within After Effects. You can now select and delete objects from an object list, allowing you to create nulls to transform your 3D objects, and you can utilize Cinema 4D user data to make more specific modifications. You could also save your C4D file and cache your simulations from Cineware directly. All these features make for an unprecedented compositing workflow, allowing you to do more work in After Effects without the need to go back to Cinema 4D to make changes to your 3D files. Now, in addition to the features in this release, there are a host of other features that we've been quietly adding to Maxon 1 over the last few months. ZBrush has added a lot of impressive features, including Repeat to Similar, which allows you to copy changes to similar objects. Split to Parts lets you make quick cuts with a knife brush and still keep the parts you've cut out. The Anchor Brush and Transform Gizmo have both been given updates, which make it easier to pose objects. Adjust Brush Intensity dynamically with the new Drag Stamp Stroke Type. We've also added all of the incredible useful Maxon noise types from Cinema 4D into ZBrush. Redshift added new plugins for Houdini and support for Apple's M3 chips. Universe added two new effects, Bokeh and Bokeh Transition, for creating gorgeous effects and quickly rendering depth of field blur effects. Like the other Universe effects, Bokeh and Bokeh Transition are available in a variety of host applications, including Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Real Lens Flares added a light ball core projection, matte box effects, and obscuration, which simulates how lens flares behave when objects obscure bright light sources. Spot Clone Tracker has such a fast and accurate tracking system that we've created a tracking only mode, making it easier to use the tracker when that's all you need. Particular added some large collections of new sprites, including static and animated pixel art and emoji sprites. And now, particular sprites exist in the cloud, so you can download only what you need. We've also made stunning improvements to the speed of Particular. It now renders twice as fast with most setups, and in some cases, it's even faster. Magic Bullet Looks has gotten better integration with Unreal Engine, and in a move that many of us can appreciate, Looks now sets up OCIO color automatically. As mentioned, we add new capsules to the Cinema 4D asset browser every month. That means we have a colossal and ever-growing number of 3D models, you know, plants, office supplies, musical instruments, and more. But we also have textures, materials, example scenes to explore, and motion capture data. And you can now preview animations right from the asset browser without opening them, or even needing to download the files from the cloud first. And one of the most exciting categories in the asset browser that we continue to expand is nodes. Many of these are additional objects and modifiers created by Rocket Lasso that add tremendous functionality to Cinema 4D. In addition to all these great products and features, we've been hard at work creating free training to help you make the most of your creative sparks. We've added multiple courses to Cineversity, including adding to our non-English courses, as well as dozens and dozens of hours of training content to the Maxon Training Team YouTube channel. This includes recordings of our almost daily free webinars, live streams of events, and quick tips. Thank you for being a part of our vibrant worldwide community of creatives. And now that we've gotten your gears turning, we look forward to seeing what you make with the latest release of Maxon One.